I'm Susan Davis, Costume Shop Manager, and we're here in the Costume Shop getting a sneak peek at the costumes for Lucia. Behind me you see some of the chorus costumes, including the ball gowns for the women's chorus, and the men will be wearing dashing tailcoats and uniforms from the mid-19th century. We're really excited to be working with Deb Trout again. She's a local costume designer, and you last saw her work on our stage for uh, Marriage of Figaro. Deb Trout did a lot of research for us, and we have a book here giving us guidance in the workroom for the look that we're going for on the show. So for example, the women's chorus scene, when you see them in Act uh, 2, Scene 1, will have this look of these paintings from this time period. From Deb's meticulous research in the period, she, de she designed her sketches for the characters, some of which are here on the table. So Lucia, when we first see her, is wearing this beautiful peach dress. And we couldn't find any fabric exactly this color, so our craftsperson, Leah, um, dyed the fabric to match, and so we're just in the same tone as the sketch. For some of our other characters, you can see the formal wear look that'll show up in the contact scene and in the wedding scene. This is one of our larger shows of the season, and we have about 20 technicians in the workroom. We'll be working about eight weeks in the workroom on this show, and for the largest scene, there'll be uh, about 60 people on stage in full period costume. For those of you who have seen Lucia before, you know that it contains one of the most famous soprano mad scenes um, in opera. And um, the scene is also very dramatic because Lucia is often covered in blood having just uh, killed her groom. And we, uh, for the most part, blood effects on the stage are painted effects, but there might be an instance of um, some stage blood, someone needing to bleed, Lucia herself, and so we made sure and tested the different kinds of bloods that we were considering with the fabrics in her costume at the time, and um, if you can see, the one with a little pink remaining is not the blood type we'll be using, <laughs> because it didn't wash out. So we want to make sure that her dress looks beautiful each night when she starts out on stage. So part of the process in taking the sketch and turning it into the real costume is really looking at the proportions that were drawn here and adjusting them for our particular singer. And so this is the fabric and trim for Lucia in Act 2, Scene 2. And we spent some time yesterday with Deb, the costume designer, making sure that we were happy with the size of the bands. And we're going to make some adjustments from this sample piece. But you can see how um, how rich this velvet is and how beautiful it'll read on stage. And one thing about the wigs of this time period, the skirts are very voluminous, and so the wigs, the styling of the hair is also very full um, because it creates a balance. If you had a tight chignon or something, it would look out of character and not really in balance with the rest of the costume. So we have these beautiful floral headpieces and long veils and a full wig to go with her full dress. Now that we're into the making of the costumes and starting our fittings, we're really excited to see everything come together and we hope you'll enjoy the production when you go and see it in October.